construction safety documentation, training for staff. Introduction The purpose of this video is to explain the various project documents designed to make a construction site a safe and environmentally friendly place to work. Safe system of work To provide a safe system of work is a legal requirement. What this means is that before you ask an employee to do a job, you ensure that he has received training, has the appropriate personal protective equipment, the work area is safe and he is unlikely to be injured or cause damage by carrying out the assigned task. Project Management Plan for Health, Safety, Security, and Environment Also known as, HSSE Plan the project HSSE management plan details how safety on site will be managed. Project procedures for health, safety, security and environment. Details the safe way to undertake a task. Method statements. Are prepared in advance of starting work, to plan a safe system of work on site for all activities that carries a risk. The contents of a method statement, typically include scope and location of the works, program, roles and responsibilities of staff, resources, work methodologies, and risk assessment. Safety risk assessments are prepared to identify and evaluate risks, to adopt control measures to reduce or eliminate risks. Shown is a risk assessment for excavation. Kosh Sheet The purpose of the control of substances hazardous to health sheet is to identify how to prevent or adequately control workers' exposure to hazardous substances. Permit to Work Is a management system used to control high-risk activities by ensuring safety measures are in place prior to starting work. Types of work for which permits will be required include Excavation and the digging of trenches Working at height, including on roofs Working in confined spaces, for example entering a manhole Hot work, which is welding, soldering, or cutting steel with angle grinders or by gas torch Main causes of accidents one slips, trips and low falls. Resulting from Walking on uneven ground and stepping over obstacles. Type of injury Usually minor e.g. Strained ankles, cuts and bruises. Preventative measures Designate and keep walkways clear of obstacles and keep the ground free from bumps and spilled liquids. Two falls from height. Resulting from Working on work platforms, floors, or roofs without edge protection, falling down through floor openings or over floor edges and from roofs. Type of injury. Usually serious and can be fatal. Preventative measures. Proper access to heights, edge protection, covering openings in floors. Provide body harnesses. Three crush injuries in trenches. Resulting from Trench collapse. Type of injury. Serious injury and fatality. Preventative measures. Batter or step faces of excavations. Keep machinery away from edges of trenches. Store excavated material over one meter from edge of trenches. Erect barricade along trenches. For electrocutions. Resulting from. Striking buried electrical cables. Contact with overhead cables. Type of injury. Burns and death by electrocution. Preventative measures. Scanning and ascertaining location of buried cables. Erecting goal posts and barriers along route of overhead cables.